All right, and we're recording. Hey gang, Andy here, coming at you, book, with my December 2016 update video for, you guessed it, December 2016. Woo. So yeah, as always with these monthly update videos, I'm going over some personal life stuff as well as YouTubey stuff. YouTubey stuff. <laughs> so let's get right into the YouTubey stuff. Um, as you guys know, uh, I went on a YouTube hiatus uh, earlier last month. And that was mostly due to uh, catching up with a lot of homework, um, a lot of big projects and stuff for my classes were due that month, so I had to focus the majority of my attention to that. So that's why there hasn't really been a whole lot of YouTube videos, and also dealing with the, uh, the Weekend Wrestling Podcast and the Roger Swan Remastered series, all that stuff was just kind of put on hold while I was working on all these other projects for school. But I'm hoping to uh, get some things started again. As far as the uh, the Weekend Wrestling Podcast goes, um, I'm going to be putting that on the shelf for the time for the time being. Just because um, it is a lot of work to get everything all compiled up for the podcast. And I just don't really have the time or the energy to focus on that right now. Especially with school. As much as I enjoyed doing it, and I did learn a lot making the podcast and stuff like that. Um, I just can't, in the uh, near foreseeable future, continue doing it. Um, I hope to pick it up again at some point later on down the line when I'm less busy, but for now it's just not really a practical uh, use of my time. So uh, I'm still gonna be watching wrestling and all that kind of st all that kind of stuff. So I'm not giving up on wrestling, I'm just giving up on the podcast for the time being. Um, so that's kind of the end of that. R.I.P. Weekend Wrestling Podcast. <laughs> and as for the uh, the Roger Swan Remastered series, um, like I said, went on the YouTube hiatus, so that was one of the main projects that kind of got the old pause button because uh, I was working on other things. But I am hoping to uh, continue that series up again. I just got to um, upload... The episodes that I have so far and then just schedule them out do the thumbnail all that kind of stuff as far as like new videos for me goes um, I have a couple in the can right now I have an unboxing video that's gonna be coming out soon uh, it'll probably be out by the time this video comes out actually <laughs> if not around that time um, I'm also finishing up uh, the rest of my backlog of Andy Kate episodes because I had recorded a couple episodes uh, a while back, earlier in the year, before I decided to put Andy Kate on hiatus, because, you know, finals <laughs> it happens. Um, I'm hoping to get the rest of those episodes out before the end of the year, and then once those episodes are done, then I plan on uh, doing some more Andy Kate stuff. Um, I don't know if it's going to be like a regular thing, because like I said, with school and all that kind of stuff, it's really uh, hampering the amount of time that I have towards YouTube. Because not only do I have school and homework and projects and studying for finals, I also have a um, part-time job working the weekends. So there's a lot of time that's devoted to other things. And plus sometimes, you know, just my brain needs a vacation from uh, focusing on creating content for you guys. So, a little selfish, yeah, but uh, if uh, if my uh, my head and my heart aren't into it, um, I don't want any part of it. So, just kind of is what it is. But, you know, I'm looking to get back into the game this month, leading into 2017. But uh, as far as, like, having a uh, consistent schedule and stuff like that, it's really not going to happen for me. Um, I've tried so many different times to have a consistent schedule, but I don't want to feel like I'm obligated to make videos. I want to feel like making a video because I want to make a video, not because, you know, oh shit, it's like, it's Thursday already and I haven't made a video yet. Oh shit, better fucking do something, buy something at the store, unbox it, I don't know, do something. Panic. <laughs> Because you know how the YouTube algorithm is, which, by the way, uh, if you guys were wondering, uh, as far as, like, at the time it's recording, 
YouTube went through a slight algorithm change. It shaked, it uh, kind of did some things which affected views and subs and all that kind of stuff. And I was looking at my own analytics and I didn't really seem to be affected all that much. I think it was probably because I didn't really post at all for the most part. So it seemed like whenever you posted a video, some people would get unsubbed and your views would drop and stuff like that. But because I didn't post anything, it really didn't affect my channel. So I was uh, glad to see that. And if anything, I actually gained subscribers. So we had passed the, uh, the 300 subscriber mark. I don't know if I mentioned this in the last video, but we're uh, above 300 subs. Yay. So really excited about that. Um, looking forward to continuing to grow this channel and get it uh, back up to where I left off on my Andy San channel and then going beyond that because I know some people were very skeptical about me starting a, basically a new channel even, even though this channel isn't really a new channel I've had this channel about as long as I've had my Andy San channel but I used this initially as just kind of like a spare channel mostly for like uh, concerts and stuff like that or just stuff that I wouldn't normally put on my other channel just random miscellaneous things um, but at the beginning of this year not the beginning but like March 2016 at the 10 year mark of my original Andy San channel I decided to make the move over to this one mostly to uh, start collecting AdSense money because uh, I do you know, I am looking into other sources of income now that I'm out of the Navy, and I'm not getting that sweet Navy coin every 1st and 15th, so I'm not <laughs> I'm not in the poorhouse, as you can see behind me, but it would be nice to uh, have an extra source of income to help uh, just kind of even out the expenses a little bit and give me a little extra to help with uh, bills, groceries, whatever <laughs> and plus um, like I said before YouTube does take a lot of time to do it takes time to make the videos takes time to edit the videos put them out there market them get the thumbnail all right get the SEO and all that kind of stuff just right so it does take a lot of time to do and like I said I don't have a whole lot of time uh, to be doing those things because I have you know work and school and stuff so the time that I do have is uh, has to be spent very uh, very carefully so just kind of is what it is and no I'm not doing YouTube for the money it's just money is a nice way for me to uh, get a little bit of uh, reciprocation from devoting all that time to a certain project and it's doing YouTube it's YouTube I fucking uh, I've been doing YouTube for over 10 years and I wouldn't have wouldn't have stuck around this long if I didn't love it, you know. And it's just now that I'm starting to actually get paid for it. And that's pretty much it for uh, for YouTube -y stuff. Now, as far as like a schedule schedule, before we get into the personal stuff, um, like I said, I'm not going to be doing a set schedule. Uh, what I'm going to be doing is just basically aiming to do at least one video a week. And then if I can do more, I'll do more but I'm going to be aiming for at least one video a week. I don't know exactly when, but uh, I'm aiming for one video a week. So there you go. And another thing I'm going to be doing is starting uh, starting next year, and uh, I'll, I might be doing a little bit of tweaking leading into 2017, but one of the things that I really want to start pushing at the beginning of next year is my Patreon. So for those who don't know, patreon.com slash theandysan. Uh, links below in the description if you want to check that out. Um, I'm going to be doing more of a push towards uh, getting more patrons on Patreon. And uh, again, one of the reasons for that is to help supplement my income, help uh, get more equipment, get better equipment, help with upgrades and stuff with my computer, software, all that kind of stuff. Because, you know, this stuff don't come cheap. <laughs> and... Uh, I would like to um, upgrade my setup a little bit as time goes on, so I think Patreon would be a nice way to do that. Now as far as rewards and stuff like that goes, um, I'm still still toying with ideas, so 
Just let me know in the comments down below, in the boobity boops, what you guys would like to see for rewards, and I'll see if I can oblige to, uh, to those reward tiers. And uh, I'm also uh, planning on uh, offering my services as like a freelance editor to help out smaller channels and stuff like that with projects. And uh, that's going to be another aim at uh, Patreon is to hopefully set up a thing to where I can accept commissions and we can get that all set up and stuff like that. So be on the lookout for that in 2017. So now let's get into the personal stuff. So as I had explained in a previous vlog, I'm looking into transferring over to Wright State University in Dayton, Ohio next year. And the main reason for that is so that way I can be closer to my friends and family. Um, and also, I'm just not really uh, digging the vibe out here in uh, Kalamazoo anymore. Not that I ever did, but I figured I'd at least, you know, try to give it a shot and stuff. And it's just, eh, it's just not really clicking for me. So I'm thinking about moving over to Dayton, Ohio, transferring to Wright State, uh, beginning, not the beginning, but uh, at the end of spring semester in 2017, ideally. Um, but it all depends on how well my grades are for this semester, uh, if I'm off academic probation, and stuff like that. But uh, if I am off of it, then I'll go ahead and apply and uh, go through that whole process. And if I get accepted, I'll transfer in the summer. But if they want my GPA to be a little higher, then I'll continue to go to uh, Western out here and uh, get my GPA back up again. So that's the plan moving forward. Um, I can't wait to be back in Ohio with uh, my friends and family again. And I think that's going to be very good for me mentally because I just, I don't know, I just, I really can't relate to the people that are in college. It's just, you know, they're, they really uh, kind of make me more aware of how much older I am compared to them because a lot of their problems are stuff that I had faced before and they just don't really affect me all that much anymore and just you know stuff like that and plus I know that I'm not gonna really see them again after college so it's kind of to me it's just kind of uh, not really pointless but I'm just kinda getting my hopes up I feel if I try to get close to them only for them to you know either graduate or leave within a year so it's just kind of like mm, what was the point <laughs> and uh, yeah I could be friend Facebook friends with them and stuff like that but it's not the same so uh, transferring back to Ohio so I can be closer to uh, my long my long-term friends and closer to my family so I don't have to plan a whole big thing when I want to go visit them and it's more of just a well, I'll just see them on the weekends, or if I get a little bit of free time or whatever, I can just zip on over, and it's not that big of a deal. Whereas living out here in Kalamazoo, I have to section out different you know, times of the day. I have to leave really early to get back home at, uh, at a reasonable time. I have to leave early in order to get back here at a reasonable time for work and stuff like that. So it's a bit of a disconnect and uh, stuff like that. So... Yeah, can't wait for that to uh, to get going. Um, as far as my own mental health, I think going back home for Thanksgiving really helped me uh, clear out a lot of stuff that was in the old nog nog. And I'm um, also eating a little better, uh, taking vitamin supplements, which are really helping with my uh, frame of mind, stuff like that. Uh, like, uh, just nothing really too you know, too complicated. It's just uh, B vitamins and uh, vitamin D as well. So those usually help me out during these uh, seasonal depressive episodes. And they've been keeping me on the, uh, the straight and narrow for the time being. And uh, yeah, I just look forward to coming back home to Ohio where uh, I'm a lot closer to friends and family and I'm not out here by myself all alone so um, and uh, that's pretty much it for this video <laughs> so sorry if it's a little rambly at parts um, it's been a while since I've done one of these little sit-down vlogs uh, I've been mostly working on schoolwork and 
whatever. So um, to sit down and do these these videos is uh, really fun for me. But it's uh, you, I use I see YouTube as like a muscle, and you know if you don't if you don't use it, you lose it. So I just gotta get sharp and get good at the YouTubes again. So anyway, before I ramble and talk your head off for another 20 minutes, uh, we'll just end things here. And with that said, this is the Andy Son. Signing up for now, thinking you guys for tuning into this rambly ass update video at the end of the year, 2016. Woo. And uh, for watching my other stuff, also want to thank you guys for liking, for the thumbs, commenting, subscribing, send a few friends to the party, and hey, as always, we'll see you next time. Catch you later, guys. Bye.